Hello, all the awesome people out there. My name is Akiro, and welcome back to this let's play of Life is Strange, uh, where we are on our way to uh, the diner where Closed Mother works. Yeah, there's a lot of us. He was one kind of casual there. So, where is the diner? And also, I will just make sure that it. to stop him from getting hurt. Uh, where did that happen? Robert Kappa, eat your heart out! Okay. Oh no, Metro. Um, surprised that it was uh, him that I had to help. Please, somebody, anybody, there. Help me. I'm trying. I'm coming. Oh, okay. Thanks, kid. Are you okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. Good. Uh, I think that's the only two persons that was around here. Death is everywhere. Following me. I can't do so much against that. But I still want to make sure that nobody else is getting hurt. Oh, I hope that was the other girl I had to help. Uh, that you are helped all the way through this game. I got to this point. So, but... There she is! Alyssa needs help again. to help you get down. Uh, let's get down. Help me. I'm trying. Please help me get down. Like, here. Garrett had a no shut up. Sorry, but Mystery solved, but nobody gets a reward. No, you're not dead. Oh, you're not I can't stand seeing these bodies. How am I supposed to get this? Trying. I'm looking for something that can help me get you down. I'm not into because that's the way to the diner. Uh, that's too early. I haven't helped. Yes, he is. Stop my a bit. I was supposed to get her down. Seem to find anything that can help me. Help me, help me. Help me 
Oh, a plank. Really? Seriously? I'm an idiot. But okay, I've got. Uh, I checked all the other places, so that's something still. I would just hope that it doesn't fall. Saved your life, like not your life, but I saved you in every single episode. I'm pretty sure he is dead. Sorry, I can't do anything for you, but I have to get in here now. How can I get out of here? Uh, the same way you come in, but come in, came in that day. We can make it out of this, Chloe. Let's all try this. I really wish. I really hope that I can save Chloe. Dead. Oops. He's dead. Electrocuted. Um. <laughs> maybe I am. Um, um, Wait a little sick with them. Uh. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Oh, I have an idea. Oops. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but then I can get over the other side. Get inside here. Rewind time. So before I turned on the sprinklers. And kind of um, killed him. Oh, this can't be the end. Come on! You have to get out of here right now! I need to breathe. Oh, I need air. There we go. No more storms. Get out of here. Oh, that was okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Yeah, I'm working on it. I will just check that I don't miss anything. But again, I, I didn't really the reason why I could, uh, that the fisherman died, so. <laughs> but now it should be on the other side. Holy fuck. Yeah, the diner's all there, so we're close to that. And it seems that nothing I can do at the way, so let's have one. What just happened? Oh, the trail. I'm supposed to stop the fire. Go back with your fire. I'm just checking the trail and see if there's anything I can do. I have to stop somewhere down the road. But how? Uh, I 
can't get into those. Oh, stop doing that. How do I do that? Please, fire, don't destroy things. Oh, maybe this can do it. <laughs> yes. Okay, that worked. I can also look at things. Yeah, but it did. Luckily for that. Okay, let's go to the diamond though. Hey, hey, though. Yeah. But that's. Damn, thing. this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Uh, maybe back entrance? People talked about her that that it warned uh, the home business about something. I talked to her. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast E6? is now in effect. Okay, you made that up. The biggest tornado is an E5. There's nothing like an E6 because E5 is. The, the strongest tornado you can imagine because that's I can't remember the wind uh, the wind uh, speed right now but I know that the wind speed is from this to everything over that Max oh Max oh Jesus I am so glad to see you sweetie are you okay Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. But it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Uh, I, I would say the snow was an indicator, oh, but... Everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. No. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? I really don't want to tell him, but I know I should do it. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? 
Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. Yeah. You saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad. The bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. Oh, you're cool. Oh, God. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. <laughs> I want the best news. How are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David uh, hold up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. 
And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Hopefully. Okay. I will talk to Warren, of course, else I will Come not on, get. Joyce. Focus on the people here. Get anywhere. So, let's do this. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. <laughs> then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already ki killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All oh, because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... Did he hurt you? <laughs> Rachel was killed. Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. And now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe and and she can't help me right now. And I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Okay, let's do this. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Uh, I will do what I can. Hey. Be careful out there. Mm, why not? 
for luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. Of course you do. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, we were connected to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen. Okay. Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! God dang it. Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he... Um... Nathan is dead. That fucker is already because will you please Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Um This one Chloe. I know this isn't easy, but it's time for you and me to let the past go. We have to focus on our future while we still have one. That's so easy for you to say. You don't know what my life has been these past five years. Come on, of course I... But at some point you have to move forward. One thing I learned at Blackwell is the saying, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. I have to do this. So I guess I'm on my own. Again. Chloe! God dang it! Man, she just won't listen. I better rewind and do it over. <laughs> well, excuse me, I'm going to that. Okay, we try this again. I'm pretty sure of this one. Mason is that fucker. Because, will you please? This one I'm pretty sure of, sir, so. This one. Chloe, I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break.
remake it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and... As usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Yes, a slap across the face is a sure sign of tough love. You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Hopefully. That's still a big fucking ass tomato. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, it actually worked! You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and... I hope it was worth it, but... I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield. 
time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! What? Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film the little pieces of time. I I'm Anybody back in class. As he what the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers in Torno. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner <gasps> and capture you in a moment of desperation. What the? Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Okay, I will look into that the next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope I will see you all the next time. So, until next time, farewell. Mm -hmm.